how to fix a missing Wi-Fi driver on your Windows computer. So if your network driver is missing, the first step to go and fix this is to open up the start menu, go and search for device manager and click on this window. And then you need to expand the drop down next to network adapters. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure your network adapter is not accidentally disabled. So sometimes it can look like it's missing, whereas in fact it's just disabled from this list. So when something's disabled, it will have this disabled icon next to it and you can re-enable it just by right clicking on your adapter and pressing enable device. Now, if you can't find your network adapter in this list, then what you can do is just right click on network adapters and you can press scan for hardware changes and then it should appear in this list here. If that doesn't work, you can always press action in the top navigation and you can try scan for hardware changes over here. And that's another way to go and solve the issue. Now, the third way to go and get your driver to reappear is you can click on view in the top navigation, press show hidden devices. And sometimes it may just be that the Wi-Fi adapter is hidden. So if that's the case, it should now appear in this list here. And if all of those steps don't work, we can just close out of this window, open up the start menu, go in search for settings and click on this window. In the left hand side, select network and internet, scroll down to advanced network settings, then scroll down to network reset and click this and then just press the reset now button and press yes. Now, once you've done this, you'll need to go and restart your computer. And once your computer's restarted, you should then be able to go and access the Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi adapter should now be showing up. So that's it guys. Let me know in the comments if you find this video helpful.